uh, Chris Janok here, CES 2023 in the TCL booth. Uh, we're going to look at their product line for 2023. Uh, let's start here with their uh, kind of entry level. Well, they've got two P series uh, below this, but this their their more entry level product, mid level entry. Uh, their Q series here in the U.S., which is also their uh, C6 series uh, in the EU. Uh, here's some basic specs on this this guy. This is um, a not quantum dots. Uh, I'm sorry, this does have quantum dots. The Q series all have quantum dots. So they have quantum dots, but these are offered in uh, uh, 50 and 60 hertz panels. Uh, they'll be offered in, from sizes from 43, 50, 55, 65, 75, and 85. Uh, but what is unique about this is a feature where if you have a, uh, a 4K 60 hertz input uh, and you're doing a gaming application, uh, you are able to uh, choose to uh, up the frame rate to 120 hertz, uh, but have the resolution on the display. So uh, clearly some gamers are going to want to have the higher refresh rate and sacrifice the resolution. So that's kind of an interesting uh, option that they can do. Let's move on to their next series. Uh, this is the Q7, uh, Q, Q series in the US, uh, C7 series in Europe. Uh, here are a bunch of uh, specifications that you can gaze at. These now step up uh, by adding uh, more luminance and more zones to them. So the Q7, uh, C7 series uh, add uh, full array local dimming. It was global dimming in last year's line. Uh, they've also added uh, more zones. They went from 500 zones last year to about uh, 700 zones, well, depending on screen size, I guess, for the most part. Uh, these do not use mini LED backlights, uh, but they do come in sizes from 55, 65, 75, 85, uh, and 98. So let's go on to their C8. The C8 series in Europe and the QM8 series here in the U.S. is their flagship in product lines. Uh, this now uh, adds mini LEDs uh, in the backlight uh, and expands the number of zones, of course. Uh, this now goes to also to an OD5, so uh, a 5 millimeter backlight. Uh, and will it be offered in sizes from 55, 65, 75, 85, and the 98-inch model. Uh, they also have displayed a whole bunch of uh, awards that they got here uh, over the, uh, the course of this show. Uh, again, we're back to this uh, dilemma of why they would put 144 hertz uh, panels into EU models and go to 120 uh, in the U.S. So I think that may be something they may want to start to think about. Uh, performance on these things looks great. Uh, they're going to be, I guess I didn't make a note on how many zones they are, but it's good to, uh, if there will obviously be more than the C7, Q7 line. So that's uh, mostly all I know. Uh, let me see if there's anything different over here. Oh yeah, one actually there's one thing I wanted to add. Um, they also have good support for HDR. Um, not only do they have HDR10, they've had Dolby Vision, HDR10+, uh, and th those uh, I, I, makes it easier for consumers to, uh, to be able to watch content that's uh, exclusive to that particular platform, i.e. Dolby Vision on Netflix and HDR10+, on Amazon Prime. They've also added all of the audio formats here, too. Uh, so making it, again, easier for consumers to access the content in the best possible quality. Uh, that is the story from TCL. Chris Jenock for Insight Media.